Hi, I wanted to answer a question about how to work an income statement when you have to solve for some numbers with the cost of goods sold portion inside of the income statement. So what we have to know first is that an income statement is revenues minus expenses equals net income. And then we have to know that this is a multiple step income statement, which just means that we break out the gross profit portion, which is sales minus cost of goods sold equals gross profit. And then you minus out the rest of the expenses to get to net income. So it's the same thing, but we have a subtotal called gross profit. So then we have to know what is this cost of goods sold right here? Well, cost of goods sold is beginning inventory, and then you add to that costs incurred during the period for that. So we're going to do plus all of our purchases, that's all the purchases that we made for inventory, including freight in, because we add that to the cost of our inventory. And then that gets us to the cost of goods available for sale. So I want you to think about what that means. What that means is that, oh, I thought that I meant equals. I did not really mean equals. What that means is what I start with plus what I added gives me what I have available to sell. Then I subtract out ending inventory and that gives me how much my cost of goods sold were for this period. All right, so then just using problem solving skills, we can figure this out. So let's look and see what we have. Right now we have net sales revenue and then here's the cost of goods sold statement. And we know that our cost of goods sold equals $61,000. So I know $61,000 goes there. I also know that my cost of goods, my ending inventory is negative 22,000. 2200, sorry, 2200. But what I don't know is what my cost of goods available for sale is. But I know that cost of goods available for sale minus ending inventory gives me cost of goods sold. So I can solve for cost of goods available for sale. What minus 2200 gives me 61,000? So if I say 61,000 plus 2200, I can see that this minus that gives me this. So I solved for cost of goods available for sale just knowing that that number minus 2200 would give me 61,000. Let's get some commas in here so that they're easier to read. All right, so working up still. Um, I am given purchases. Purchases is given as 50,000. So at this point, what I know is beginning inventory plus 50,000 gives me this. So at this point, I can solve because I know this number plus 50,000 equals 63,200. So I can say 63,200 minus 50,000. All right, so this plus this gives me this. All right, let's say you can't just look at it and figure it out that way. Let me give you another way that you may have learned in algebra. We know that beginning inventory plus purchases equals 63,200. All right, we don't know beginning inventory. That was the number that we don't know. So I'm going to put a little X there because that was the number we don't know. All right, so I can say X plus 50,000 equals 63,200. All right, so from there we can solve for X by moving 50,000 to the other side. When we move it to the other side, we subtract. So then I can see X equals, um, I'm gonna move 50,000 to the other side, minus 50,000. I leave 63,200 right here, and I'm left with that. So in order to solve for X, I can say 63,200 minus 50,000, and that gave me 13,200. So whether you like to write it like this and solve, or if you can just look at the numbers and figure out the missing puzzle pieces, whichever way is better, is fine. So this is not something I would put on a test, but it is something that I want you to practice because it helps you to understand the um, 
the way these numbers work and how to calculate these numbers. All right, so let me put it in and make sure we got the right answer. 13,200, we figured out that one was 63,200. Oh, we have to finish this up. Selling and administrative expenses are um, letter C. So let's finish. So gross profit minus what equals 12,000? So gross profit less selling and administrative equals operating income. All right, so how did I know that was the case? Because if I look up here at my multiple step, it is gross profit minus expenses equals net income. Gross profit minus expenses equals net income. All right, so we're told that gross profit is equal to $40,000. We don't know this number, but we do know this number. All right, so at this point, I have $40,000 minus X equals 12,000. So if I want X to be by itself, I'm gonna move my numbers to the left and keep my X over there by itself. So it's gonna be 40,000 minus 12,000 equals a positive X because I'm moving it to the other side. So then I can say 40,000 minus 12,000 is 28,000. So I can say that 40,000 minus 28,000 equals 12,000. So this number should be 28,000. I'm going to check my work, and we got it right. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.